What is up? I'm Jedi, aka Caesar the Crowd Pleaser, and today we're gonna be doing my first ever unboxing of Game of Thrones Oathbreaker. This is the uh, game of intrigue and betrayal, but it's a social deduction game. I actually like these. The first one I was ever introduced to was uh, One Night Werewolf. If you guys ever played that game? It is a lot of fun. Uh, I do have to stress it is One Night Werewolf because I found out later on that there's actually just a regular werewolf game and apparently you can play with like hundreds of people and people go to cons and do this. Long story short, the uh, some people are werewolves and some people are normal villagers and you have to try to figure out, uh, I think you have like a predetermined number if like more, if there's X amount of wolves over villagers, the wolves win and vice versa. So the villagers are trying to deduct who the werewolves are and kill them every night. Yes, just like real life tens. I don't know if I've worn my uh, my uh, part wolf shirt yet. But all right guys, let's go ahead and crack this open and see what all comes with it. I got it because I did pick up the Eternal card game. And so this was kind of like a bundle deal. So, oh yeah, my bad. I did the pre-order, which is what I'm guessing why they gave me this, if you guys can see it. Uh, it's weird because it comes in the UPS package. So... But it's Jon Snow, Rally the North, and before missions are resolved, choose two other nobles. All three, you take an additional turn. So I guess it's some kind of bonus card that you get if you pre-ordered. Uh, let's see. So we have the Game of Thrones components and instruction guide. Right? Yeah, wow, there actually isn't much to this. It is uh, five, six, seven pages. Oh, there's like extra game rules. So I guess nine. And this is just going over the cards. So yeah, it's a 10 page instruction book. So the game seems fairly easy to play. Uh, it seems a little more advanced than a social deduction game. LSV said something about it. Like he, he was part of the playtest team. And uh, he said that it was a lot of fun. But it feels like it might be one of LSV's kind of games. Uh... So let's see, here is the game board. And I'll be honest with you, I... Oh, is there two game boards? Are there two different things? Hold on, so... Let me see, is it upside down for you guys? It is, no, it's not, okay. We have this one. Uh, so mission deck and agent. With a bunch of card stuff on the bottom. There's influence on this side. Yeah, you guys can still see that. Discard. So I guess it just kind of lays out the game for you. The backside is the same thing. That's weird. Hold on. Four loyalist, eight chaos, four order, eight chaos. So that's the same. Conspirator, loyalist, conspirator, loyalist. Uh, this is really weird. I actually have no idea. Oh, okay. So it looks for players. My bad. So the only difference I can tell is that up here on this corner, it has like the little player symbol. And then it has seven... This one has eight, this one has six, and five. So I guess it's a different board based on how many players you have, but everything else looks the same. Let me look at these little icons at the bottom and see if they're different, hold on. Uh, one, three, okay, yeah, 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 okay. So there's a little difference. Like I guess these icons down here, it's mainly just the, f yeah. So the, all these icons, I'm assuming they do something. But yeah, if you guys look, this is the seven player and this is the six player one. They, oh, wait, this way, my bad. They don't quite match up correctly. There we go. So I guess that's the difference. I'll find out later. I might do a game through. I'll, I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm so busy lately that I haven't had time to really. The only time I've played Eternal is to get my daily quest, maybe do an occasional forge and then stream with you guys. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, so we have our little game pieces. Uh, let's see. So we have gold little cubes. Uh, they look, uh, they're actually wood with a paint job. Silver. I have no idea what these are, I guess, to keep track on the game board. And blue. Oh, and blue. So I'm not sure, I'm assuming this is some kind of points tracker or something like that. Well, there was numbers around the board. So 
these are different sizes, so it's not like these are the character ones either. I would say that they were the character ones, but as you can tell, the red one is like slightly bigger. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Then we have, ooh, these are kind of cool. These are actually metal, I think. They, they at least feel, oh, they're like poker chips. Okay, so it's like weighted plastic. Um, so I will show you each of these. So these look like the player trackers because they're each house. We have that one. Do, 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 do. That one. Do, do, do. Oh, that one looks cool. The Kraken. I'll probably end up posting this one on the uh, the Eternal Journey one since it's a direwolf thing. I do have some Magic the Gathering stuff on my other page. All right, and then we have the... I think these are... Let me take a second, guys, so I can actually give you... Uh, so these are... I'll open it up. Uh, let me see. Hopefully they made it. You know, like, I really do feel like I get it. Sometimes packaging companies do things differently. But I feel like if you're going to spend the money to put a game together... Like, you should make sure that whenever they do the card stuff, they have that easy... Oh, they do. Never mind. Never mind. I stand corrected. They... There I go again, opening my mouth before double checking. But hey, that goes to show you I'm doing it live. But they do actually have the little pull tab to make sure you can take it off easily. So let me figure out what these cards are, and I'll tell you guys what they are in a moment. So these are the Decree cards. So I'm guessing this is like what happens... So we have Agent of Life. It has a... I forgot what her name is. It's kind of funny. Sweet. I don't know. I've literally never done an unboxing. That being said, while I have you guys here, uh, I have... Yeah, Melisandre. There you go. Thank you. I knew, I, wanted, I knew it was an M. I couldn't remember. But let's see. It says uh, Favor. It has a number three on it. It says Favor. And then next round, the mission with this noble's house sigil gains an extra success you gain all the successes uh here we go we have uh the lannister guy jamie jamie pretty sure i'm so bad with names uh so lord commander it has a number one on it and then the favor and then it says for the rest of the game uh whenever this noble plays three or more cards to the same mission plus one order that glare is like wearing me out focus 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 it is on autofocus. I'm not sure why it's not focusing. So there we go. Uh, 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 get there. This is so hard doing stuff in the mirror. All right. Uh, if not Stalin, uh, I would be more than happy to uh, work out like a PayPal thing or something for you and pick you up one and mail it to you. Uh, ooh, we have Unchained. Here you go, Lustful. Since you're in the chat, there's a dragon. Don't know which dragon that is. I'm assuming it's one of the smaller ones because I feel like the bigger one is way more evil looking. Uh, ah, confess. This one has a weird border. So all these were white bordered. Let me see. All right, so they have some weird like brown border. Confess proclamation. This is a proclamation. Uh, right now. Okay, I get it. So I guess that's the action speed. Each noble discards a card face down. You choose one of them and reveal it. Each noble then draws a card. Yeah. Show that to you guys real quick. Uh, the dragon scale looks brown or gold. Uh, I don't know. It's in the firelight. So uh, there you go. We have Jon Snow screaming as he enters battle into the fray. Let's see. Uh, and then we have black bordered cards. And these look, oh, these are suspicion. So let's see, let's find one that looks kind of cool. Cornered, there we go, with uh, the what's his face, the canary guy. I forgot, it. once again, I'm bad with names. Uh, this one is uh, cornered suspicion. After missions are revealed next round, choose a mission. This noble can't play any cards to that mission. and I don't know what these are these are oh okay here we go so those are currency I was right because then like for example we have let me get one that has more than one here we go 
we have influential and then it's you need two gold coin and then two power okay so the gold is coin and the silver is power there cool all right so that would be it for the that i'm not gonna get too deep in that because i feel like it's not like a breakdown of the game all right these are i don't know what these are doesn't have it on the uh components thing so i guess we'll have to open it and find out now that i know it has that quick release thing do, 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 do. so not bad guys got a seven win deck today and a new game super exciting gonna probably play a little bit of commander tomorrow all right so okay these are influence cards okay that's so i guess you just I have no idea. I'll have to read the instructions because these just have the house symbols on them. It's looking like like a raven or attack maybe. So that I thought this was the back of the card, but that was actually the front of the card. The back of the card is the Oathbreaker. And like, wow, there's a lot of them. Okay, yeah, there's one with like a couple. So I'm assuming they do things. There's skulls. Do, 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 do. And yeah. So that one is the influence cards. I'm assuming that's what you draw every. Oh, and of note, the uh, carrying case is actually kind of good. It's not like uh, terraforming Mars where you have to buy like an aftermarket. If you guys look, it's kind of good. It carries everything fairly neat. So I like that. I'm kind of a, a neat freak when it comes to stuff like that. So I hate when I have to like things are unorganized. All right. It comes with a hand of the king marker, which I'm assuming is just probably who goes first or has priority. And then these are the six double-sided character boards. So I guess if you're a player, you get to pick your player and it does stuff. Uh, Yara Greyjoy. And then it says, let's see, question mark, question mark. And then on your turn, discard any number of cards face down, then draw that many cards. Uh, let's see. Oh, Arya, yes. Arya is part of the many faces and how stark uh same thing on your turn play one of your cards face up if it is helpful take one resource harmful draw two cards and neither discard two cards face down sweet uh what is dead may never die i like that yeah wait where'd you see that at did i miss that somewhere where'd you see, see that at Sloan? I don't know. I'm horrible. I'll be honest with you guys. I have not seen the last season. I want to. I watch the show. I just don't like cliffhangers, so I end up waiting till the season's done to watch, and I just haven't gone around to it. Uh, it comes with a, a couple of bags, which I really honestly don't know what goes in it, unless they're big enough for this. I don't think they are. All right? They're not big enough for that. I guess the cards go in it, but there's literally one, two, three, four. Of oh, okay. Here we go. There's another pack of cards, which are the mission cards. So these are the last things that's left in the pack to open. Sweet. I hope this is exciting for you guys. Seems a little, I feel a little weird doing it. Not going to lie, but I guess it makes it more exciting. Kind of like, uh, that was Jara. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, all right. So these cards, these are the mission cards. They're a little bit bigger. It is very exciting. Sweet. Are you just trolling me, Stalin? I don't know. It's hard to tell because you bust my chops a lot. I'm an easy target. So, at least over the internet. In real life, I feel like I'm not as easy of a target. But uh, So, we have a Lannister always pays his debts. And if you get the Crow, you gain two coin and one order. And then if you get the Skull, you plus two chaos. You guys can see that. I gotta say the <laughs> tense with the with the backup laugh. Yeah, uh, I gotta say it is a pretty neat game as far as the way it looks. Like honestly, it's not pretty. Seems good quality. This is like hard cardboard. You know, like if it gets wet, it'll fray. You guys can see the layering, but it's good. I, and like I said, I like the carrying case. If I'm giving it like a review, um, the cards are good quality. They have like a slight laminate. Not laminate, but like a wax over it. So I think they're a little vulnerable. Still wouldn't get them wet though. And I don't know if this is a good size. These are all standard card size. So if you're the kind of guy that buys 
sleeve or protective sleeves and put your cards in them like I do. I'm not gonna lie, I do. Um, those fit. I don't know if these fit or not. I gotta check and see. Like they might be the size of the Magic the Gathering Commander cards. If you guys remember those, the oversized ones, it might be that size. Uh, let me look at another one. Uh, Battle of the Bay. Oh, sweet. It's got the Dragonfire boat. Uh, look at that. There you go. That one looks good. Uh, let's see. Discard a random card here face down before resolving. Uh, and then if you get the double daggers, plus two power and plus two order. And then if you get the skulls, plus four chaos. So the way I guess it, and once again, if you guys want, I'll figure out the game. And then either do a gameplay video or just kind of break it down, like do a game review for you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I will post this on YouTube, so if you want, let me know in there. Um, let me know if you guys want me or on the Twitter when I post that. Uh, I'm gonna post this video on YouTube. You guys can post on my Twitter. Let me know if you want me to do like a review of the game or not. Um, but so what it seems like to me is that it's still a social deduction game but like you kind of gain favor and do stuff in between instead of just kind of voting and lying to each other so uh who here's fall of hard dome which i really hope was in the last season which uh it kind of no i don't know if it was in the last season or not if it is don't let me know i don't know the names but this one has the one of the lieutenants it looks like fighting john snow so uh Let's see if you get the daggers. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we all know. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So there's plus chaos and there's honor and order. I guess you can win favor or vote. Oh, uh, well, here's a cool one when Aria was blind. Rumors across the narrow sea. But yeah, guys, that is everything that comes with Game of Thrones Oathbreaker, which I actually think is kind of funny because for those of you that play Magic, they just came up with a commander variant called the Oathbreaker. But all this stuff fits nicely back in. Still interested to know what these things are for. Uh, like I said, I think it's for these deck cards, but... Oh, I wonder... No, it looks like you shuffle them, but they do fit. Yeah, so that's for these cards, at least. Still kind of weird, though. They give you four of them. Um, oh, I wonder if it's part of the game. I wonder if you, like... No, they, would be they wouldn't be clear if it was part of the game. Like, if you guys ever played that, I think it's called Sheriff of Nottingham, you have to, like, smuggle stuff out in your bag, so they give you, like, a little satchel that's part of the game. I only played the game once, but it was kind of fun. That's another kind of social deduction game. So now, what is Snow? Oh, okay, Jon Snow. So you get, I guess for doing the promo, you get the, uh, there's, a, there's someone on the back of it. Let me open it to see who the back is. But I guess you get that for pre-ordering. So you guys could probably find these in the secondary market, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sansa. So you get Jon Snow on one side and Sansa doo -doo 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 -doo, on the other. Let me... Uh, the only awkward thing about that now is that it kind of overlaps the, the slot for it. If that makes sense like it was designed just specifically for what this the box comes with and not any extra apparently uh but yeah guys that is Oathbreaker, game of thrones Oathbreaker. so yeah like i said let me know if you guys want me to do a game review of it and i can do it live or i can post it on youtube but that is it so thank you guys so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed it like I've told you three times already, if you want to see more of it, by all means, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave comments, like, share, all that jazz. You can catch me streaming live every Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday mornings at twitch.tv slash Jedi underscore EJ. Until next time, happy gaming.